Hello. Here we are today to understand a very interesting topic. The name is there on the screen. Thigma nesti. What is it? That's a very interesting process happening in the plants. Topic from 10th standard biology. Let's understand. Here we go. Thigma nesti. Now what is nestism? We have we are familiar with this word nestism. Nestism means what? There is some movement. There is some movement in the in the parts of the plant body. How it works? Let me show you with the definition. What is it? Nestic movement can be defined as the movement of parts of plant. Parts of plant. to response to what to response to an external stimuli something out of the body of the plant there is an external stimuli in which the direction of response is not determined by the direction of stimuli the direction in which the parts of the plant will move that's not determined by the direction of stimulus now you would wonder what is the word stimuli then now if i say here that winter season is going on we would be shivering like this shivering why in response to the cold if our hand feels cold or hot we move our hand we take it our hand to the another safer place means in the simple example the hotness or coldness that works as in stimuli and in response to that stimuli we have sense organs let's say skin we move our hand aside so that is the same process working with the plants nestism nestic movements the word nestic is particularly related to the plants it is usually shown you can read the next line also it is usually shown by the flat surface of the plants such as leaf in leaf we can see that now specifically we are here to understand thigmo nestism not just nestic movement so what is it the very best example we are familiar with the word mimosa plant it responds on touch when we touch the leaflets of that plant they curl up they fold up how it occurs let's see thigmo nesti is the nestic movement of plant it is the nestic movement of the plant in response to what in response to touch when we touch the plant then the leaflets here you can see they fold up two figures have been given us given to us for our understanding here you can see the leaflets are open up now as soon as you touch it as soon as you touch it what happens they have folded up this can be observed here so thigmonastism is the response of the plant of the part of the plant on response to touch when there is touch right and the example is mimosa the same thing is written over here now how it works let's say for us we can move our hands easily we can move our hands according to our need we have cells in our body and we can change the shape we can move our hands then how this happens that the leaves which are open up they close when we touch that leaves let's understand the process what is it we further move on with the next slide it is touch with our fingers when we touch the leaf then touch is the stimulus and and in response to it what is the response given by the plants they fold up now we have sensitive organs such as skin we have the sense organs skin i gave you the example through skin we can determine the hotness or coldness in the same way for the plants in plants they have sensitive parts such as pulvinus what is pulvinus pulvinus is a soft very soft cushion like swollen structure swollen it is swollen up 
that swollen structure pulvinus is under every leaf it is at the base of each of the leaves so that sensitive parts works in this activity now here you can see the cells of pulvinus they contain a lots of water a lot of water they contain and what happens when we touch no when we touch the leaf this pulvinus the cells of pulvinus they generate an electrical impulse and impulse a signal you can say a signal is generated which travel through all the cells it travels through the cells and when that impulse the signal travels through the cells what happens the amount of water in half of the pulvinus area that travels to the other half of the pulvinus area and as the movement of water is done in the leaf through this sensitive part that is pulvinus and through this movement of water there we can see the movement in the leaves the leaves which were open and due to transfer of water the amount of water transfers and the leaves fold up still it is being explained in the next slide let us go through it this impulse is when this impulse or the electrical signal goes inside the cells they act on the plant hormones and water migrates already discuss migrates means water changes its position water changes its position in the leaf and as they change the position when there is loss of water in the half portion of the leaf when there is loss of water water goes off they lose the firmness firmness means due to which they the leaf was able to keep its structure but as there is loss of water the leaf cannot maintain its structure and it will fold up and this is the process goes in the plants but if we compare it with the animals in animals there are specialized nerve cells we have nerve cells through which all the information the signal goes to the nervous system that is our brain and spinal cord and for animals it is very easy to change what happens the cells change their shape when we want the movement to happen in our body but for the plants when they want to have movement in them there is the change in the amount of water the amount of water which is contained in the leaves in the sensitive part pulvinus the amount of water changes and the plants can change their shape or change or show some movement right you can say they can show some movement hope this was very easy to understand the very simple concept and yes thank you for your time